To do this, you're gonna to need to assemble the piston onto the rod bearing. You do not need the rings installed. Uh, you do need to put the wrist pin in, but you don't need the clips either. Just be careful that uh, the wrist pin isn't pushed too far. Make sure it's centered inside of the piston. And then you have to line up the exhaust port at the top. That's what I'm doing here. Just uh, aligning the uh, bottom of the ring to the top of the exhaust port. That's where you see the light. And then once you get it lined up with the bottom, your exhaust port's lined up with the bottom of the ring, you just take a pencil mark and mark both sides of the bridge with a pencil so you can uh, locate the center of the bridge and then make your measurements to drill the holes. Then take it all back apart There are the measurements, 0 0.06 to 0.09. I use a 564 drill bit, 0 0.078. And then your 0.3 inches from the bottom of the ring. And then 0.375 from top hole to bottom hole. And here I'm just getting prepared to drill the holes a center punch is critical here you don't want to use you don't want to drill these holes without it you'll uh if your drill bit slips you're gonna end up scoring a whole side of your your piston and i don't have a press so just hold it as close to 90 degrees as you can and go uh go straight through start slow get a good hole going so you don't slip So after drilling holes, getting rid of all the little bits, I use a quarter inch drill bit to countersink the holes and just clean up the edges, make sure there was no burrs that could uh, score up the inside of the cylinder. You don't really need hardly any downward pressure, just, just turning the drill bit. It's a brand new drill bit, so it was very sharp, but it, it cleaned up those holes. And purpose for drilling these lubrication holes is that exhaust bridge inside of the cylinder will get really hot and it could expand and then cause scoring on the uh, the front side of the piston uh, so that's the, the whole purpose of drilling these lubrication holes to keep that exhaust bridge cool also that exhaust bridge is a weak point inside of the cylinder and they're known to crack and then, then it can get expensive if you have a cracked exhaust bridge or just be costly to repair